Hey guys, what's going on? Star Wars Talks here. Um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about some news I heard um, regarding a new Disney show that might be coming out, might not be coming out. Um, just kind of speculation at the moment. Um, but apparently a, a Finn show is coming out. Um, your favorite Stormtrooper. But yeah, so apparently, um, I don't know if it was leaked or if it was talked about or what, but uh, apparently a new Finn show is going to be coming out. Um, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet, but just wanted to hit you guys with some of my opinions on it. Um, I think it could be pretty cool. Um, I'm not really overly excited for it because I don't like to get my hopes up for anything with sequels anymore. But, uh, and that's not bashing sequels. I did like most of the sequels, but I'm just saying, um, I'm a little excited for it if it is real, but not too excited, not overly excited. Um, I just don't want to get my hopes up, you know, um, I'm not sure when the time period is going to be taking place either. So I don't know if it'll be like during he was a stormtrooper or episode seven, eight, nine, after episode nine. I'm just not sure where it's going to uh, take off from. I also don't really know how they're going to build the story. Um, they left not much for us to see with Finn at this point. Um, the only thing I really want to know is from episode nine and not just see it on Twitter, but I want to know what. Um, you know, what Finn was actually going to say to Ray. Uh, I think we did hear JJ said that he w said that he was basically confirming that Finn was um, force sensitive, which I think is a cool idea to play with. It would make some sense, make a lot of sense, actually. Um, but the arc of Finn from episode seven to episode nine just didn't really make much sense to me. I feel like he ended up not playing a very big role at all. And uh, in turn, I know John Boyega was pretty upset about that. Um, I think he even had a couple choice words to say about Disney as a company and as a whole. But, you know, I'm hoping that they uh, hashed it out. And, you know, it's not something I'm going to be overly excited for at all and probably most people. But I did like Finn's character. I thought there was a lot to work with there. Um, but, you know, after episode nine, I think that it kind of killed off the hype of Finn for me. And, the, and episode eight as well. The whole meme about him yelling Ray's name, it, it's just real. It's real life. And I just feel like they took away so much development they could have done with Finn and so much detail they could have went into with his life. I mean, he has one of the coolest, like, backgrounds ever. He was He's a rogue stormtrooper. He was a stormtrooper. He went rogue. He joined the good guys. And it's just such a cool story. But, you know, I could see them maybe building on that a little bit or maybe filling in the gaps between episode seven and episode nine. But if it has anything to do with before the sequels, while he was still a stormtrooper, I could also see, you know, being pretty cool. But if that's the case, you know, we've already seen what ends up happening to him. So I don't know how popular that show will be. Um, the other thing is, I'm not sure if kids these days really, really love Poe and Finn and Ray. Um, like when we were kids, we loved Anakin and Luke and, you know, those characters. I don't know if kids these days like the new sequel characters as much as they did the old ones, as much as we did the old ones, excuse me. So, you know, I guess we'll just see, um, if they do it, they obviously know there's going to be some sort of market for it. You know, I'll probably watch it. Uh, Disney plus, you know, we'll probably all watch it and give it a try, but, uh, you know, I'll just have to see what happens with it. Like I said, it's I think at this point it's all speculation, but it would be pretty cool to find out, you know, they've been working on a Finn show in the background or they're maybe going to, you know, we j you just never know, but it would be pretty exciting. It would be cool. Um, I'm overly hyped about the Obi-Wan series out of anything. So, you know, not too hyped about this if it's real news, but I think there definitely could be a market for it. I'm not sure how big it is. But, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see what's uh, what's in store for Disney's future. I'm a little surprised they're going to go back to the sequels. I kind of figured they would want to be done talking about the sequels for now. But with the way the Bad Batch uh, Season 1 ended, it looks like we are going to bridge the gap between um, the end of Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith type stuff going into 
um, you know, the next arc that they're going to kind of bridge the gap between those things. And then, uh, you know, Mando's got Luke in it and stuff, so we're seeing more of Luke, which is cool. And I just think we're going to get into the sequels at some point. Um, I think the end of Bad Batch going into the next season will maybe bring some hype back for sequels if we find out that's how they created, like, uh, Snoke um, and maybe a Palp clone or a few clones. I think it could be pretty interesting. Um, and that would definitely start building up hype for a Finn show. Or bring back some hype, I guess, for a Finn show. But yeah, we'll just have to see what what goes on. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's all speculation. But um, yeah, that's about it for me, guys. Just want to keep it short. But thank you for watching. Please check out our YouTube channel, Star Wars Talk. Um, podcast is going to be on Spotify, iTunes, uh, or Apple Podcasts, or whatever that's called. And uh, on Anchor here. So thank you for watching, listening, whatever you guys are doing. Uh, we appreciate you. We thank you for everything. And we will also be posting these uh, podcasts on YouTube. So check us out there. Have a good one.